With the release of MCC Season 6, it comes with a new set of seasonal challenges. But this time around, 343 has kind of mixed it up on how you earn your special unlocks tied to seasonal challenges. In this video, we're going to give you the best tips and tricks to unlock this the most efficient way possible. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. With the release of MCC Season 6, I'm definitely excited to jump in and grind out some content here. Now, there are three specific unlocks you can get through seasonal challenges, but they require you to complete other challenges to get these challenges completed. Package Deal earns you the Another Sunrise Animated Visor, Double Up earns you the Azure Tech Suit, and Best at Both earns you the Sword and Board Backpack Accessory. But how exactly do you earn these new items? Well, in this video, we give you all the details on how to do that. So if you like these kind of detailed tips and trick kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let us know you want to see some more content like this. You want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as you ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite. Make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So here we are in the MTC seasonal challenge list. I will have a timestamp for each new challenge. If you guys are looking to get tips and tricks on how to earn a specific unlock, well, you can go straight to that point or you can just watch the whole video because it's definitely going to help you out through season six. So we'll start off with package deal. Complete the non-profit organization and story scory challenges to earn the Another Sunrise Anime Advisor. For non-profit organization, you need to defeat Covenant enemies in PvE modes, earn additional progress for more powerful enemies. So how I suggest taking on this mission in particular is you go into Firefight, go into say Reach Custom Games, I probably select the map Corvette, and just basically set it to make it as easy as possible for you to earn your kills on say like elites, brutes, hunters, things like that. You know, turn their shields off, turn your shields up to the maximum, unlimited ammo and things like that, and just go at it. For story scory, complete campaign missions, earn additional progress for completion with a higher final total multiplier. So for story scory, I think my tip right here would just be, put, find your favorite mission that you want to speed run in the MCC, put it on legendary, Maybe look up a tutorial how to speed run a specific mission that you want to do and you know you'll be able to run through that just fine double up complete the spree real estate and nerdy 30 challenges to earn the gen 2 azure tech suit free real estate is earn multi-kill and spree medals in match made pve games the best mode I would suggest for you to play would be SWAT for this. It's very easy to get your double kills, at least when it comes to getting the multi-kills. Spree's obviously it comes to just being aware of the game and doing well in the match. But it's much easier to get your double kill, multi-kill medals when it comes to playing SWAT. So highly suggest grinding out that mode for sure. Nerdy 30 is complete. 30 weekly challenges. This will kind of just come from just playing the game pretty much. Uh, as long as you complete 30 of them, you'll be doing just fine. There's a grand total of 26 total challenges for weekly PvE and PvP challenges, so you should have enough time within the two month period to complete the Nerdy 30 just fine. And the last challenge here to earn some items within Season 6 is Best at Both. Complete the Point Guard and Ranked Beats Everything challenges to earn the Sword and Board Bag Accessory. Point Guard challenge says, Earn points in match made PvP games, an assist is worth one point, a kill is worth two points, and a headshot kill is worth three points. Again, I think if you're playing SWAT, this will probably be the best way to go about earning the point guard challenge. Rank beats everything is just win competitive match made games. Now, I think with that one, you want to focus mainly on the game modes that will take less time to complete. So I wouldn't really play Invasion, but if you love playing Invasion, go for it. I mean, it's only 25 wins, so it's not too crazy of an ask right there. Uh, I actually had a lot of access the other night completing my season five challenges by playing Halo CE Team Doubles. That actually seemed to work out really well for me when it comes to getting competitive wins. I will certainly will be joining with you guys on these competitive wins. And so if you guys want to join in on that and help you grind through the process, come by my Twitch channel, link in the description down below. We stream every Tuesday and Thursday, and then we'll definitely will be doing some lobbies to help you guys get these wins. But yeah, I would highly suggest team doubles for the competitive ranks for CE and also maybe Halo 3 as well would probably work just fine. The 4v4 modes can be a little tricky as you come across full teams in serious communication and it can be kind of a pain to deal with. 
The last three seasonal challenges here, never chase, it is complete a custom game earning at least three kills on the map waterfall. Again, we'll be doing some custom game lobbies, guys, so help you grind out this challenge for sure on our Twitch channel here. We also have the Got Your Backdraft, complete 20 match made firefight games. The same challenge was in season five and we actually found a quick workaround to do these matches really fast. So if you jump in with a party of four and just suicide each other a bunch, right? Like the very first round, lose all your lives and you finish the game. Technically you completed that firefight game, meaning you can complete these 20 games probably within like 30 minutes or so. So as long as you jump in with a party of four so you don't grief out anybody who actually wants to play firefight, this actually would be the fastest way to go about doing this we did this on my live stream last night for the season 5 challenge and it works it's actually kind of a cheesy way to go about doing it but hey it's a quick way to go through your firefight match main game so you get your seasonal challenges done to play dude it works it <laughs> oh works <my> God, no. <laughs> it actually works as well as 50 on this account complete 50 match made multiplayer games for this one again swat it would be very useful as swat games generally lasts about four to seven minutes at most. And those are your tips and tricks for how to earn your seasonal unlocks for the MCC season six. If you missed any content from me recently or been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.